Hey everyone, it's Pete from AmateurGolf.com, here for The Notebook. This month, we're gonna take a look at Callaway's new irons. We're gonna tell you a little bit about Callaway's merger with Topgolf, that's big industry news. And we're gonna interview Robert Funk, who's a member of the West team in the upcoming East-West Cup matches that are gonna be played at Merido in Dallas. So stay tuned for all that on this week's edition of The Notebook. Here's the X-Forge CB, and I think this will kind of be the go-to iron for the AmateurGolf.com audience because the forgiveness, the cavity back, yet the forge feel. And uh, Callaway has put some of their game improvement technologies, a forge face that uh, is welded on and surrounded in the back by microspheres, which give this an amazing feel. You've got tungsten weighting and precision spots. And just look at that clean top line for a club that really has a lot of game improvement qualities. Um, the uh, weight again on the back is uh, something that Callaway fitters will be able to change, making that a good uh, precision fitting option. So here we're looking at the MB, and this is going to be your classic forge muscle back. And Callaway has added some nice clean lines to the club. Uh, didn't want to change a good thing. Tour players rely on this for some of their uh, millions of dollars they earn on Callaway's tour staff. So what you will see different, probably the most obvious thing, is the weight board on the back. And this will allow for a really precise fittings because this is a custom only option. You have to go through the fitting process in order to order a set of these. And depending on your length that you choose or the type of shaft you choose, even the grip weight, some of that affects swing weight. It'll be much more easy to dial in a precise swing weight. Now this is the fairway finder or the par 5 killer. This is the X-Forged UT and you're going to be able to have a hollow iron with a flat face that gives you a lot of the qualities that people go to hybrids for but gives you the look of an iron. So I'm really excited about these new Callaway irons and I think you probably will want to learn more as well. So go to CallawayGolf.com and check out the iron section and also try to listen to an episode of the Fitting Room Podcast which is where they go really deep into these products. And get this, we're going to give away a set of Callaway irons, a distance fitting, and the winner gets a chance to talk about their experience on the Fitting Room Podcast. So check that out on AmateurGolf.com and you can enter the contest. We'll announce six finalists on November 9th and pull the winner that week. I just had the pleasure of playing with Robert Funk and you've just had such a great amateur career because Robert, you're a late bloomer. When did you even start playing golf? 27. 27, and then you found yourself competing in the U.S. Senior Open in Massachusetts. What was that like to be low amateur out there and be among players that you looked up to growing up probably? Yeah, that was like a dream. It was a fantastic week. I had a lot of fun, and uh, it was just like a dream. I mean, all I did was go out there and have a lot of fun, and I ended up playing well enough to qualify. So the East-West matches, this is a thing that you heard about the other day from famous mid-amateur and amateur golfer Scott Harvey. Yeah. Tell me about getting a phone call the other day. So Scott calls me up and says, uh, yeah, you've been uh, you've been chosen to play in the East-West matches, and I had no idea what the East-West East -West matches were. So I asked them, it's the best mid ams and the best uh, seniors and then two college players that aren't going to turn professional to play. And I asked them, well, how did I get chosen for that? Because I didn't understand. And he had uh, he'd taken certain tournaments that we had played this year and last year and created his own list. And I was number seven on the list. And thankfully, someone wasn't able to play. And so I got the call. What's different about the way you approach the game? I'm not sure there's anything different. I think I'm just probably a little bit more relaxed than most people are, and I uh, take things a little bit more optimistically. And uh, I use a lot of creativity, which I think a lot of people do. I just think that for me, it's natural. And so I use what my natural ability to use that creativity and, and uh, play golf. Well, you think out loud sometimes, and I absolutely love it, Robert. I'm wishing you best of luck in East West matches. Thanks so much, Pete. Okay. And we saved maybe the biggest news for last as Top Golf and Callaway Golf are coming together to form one company. Callaway Golf will own the majority percentage and be running the company, led by CEO Chip Brewer. And what you can expect is not only this combined huge entertainment and golf company, but all sorts of programs that bring technology to the game, entertainment to the game, and new players to the game. And really, that's what it's all about.